What's up, Virgo? Welcome to your September reading. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages need to come through for you guys for the month of September. See what you guys can be currently dealing with, what you can expect, get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you'd like to build a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description down below. And if you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jason Tarot. And with that being said, let's get right into this reading and see what's going on for Virgo in the month of September. Also want to wish you guys a happy birthday to all my Virgo sons out there. Hope you guys have a great birthday season. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. Wow, okay, we got the wolf, we got the eagle. Seems like you guys are really heading into boss bitch mode over here, okay? Taking care of business, getting shit done. We even have the beaver at the bottom, so you're busting your ass off, to say the least, so that you can live a really fulfilling, happy, enjoyable life. Mm hmm So you know your hard work is gonna pay off, yeah? That's why you're busting your ass off. That's why you're really showing up to the game, to the top. Um, you're stepping into a new cycle. Energy of the eagle represents newness. It represents change. Eagle is the energy of massive shifts, and it can be uncomfortable. It can be a little scary at times, but uh, this is it's meant to be. The changes that are going to happen in September will change your life forever, to say the least. It's it's pretty dramatic. I gotta be real with you. The eagle did not come here to play. Eagles. When you think about the animal eagles, they live for really really long time especially for a bird and they go through some of the most traumatic experiences physically shifting changing their beaks go through this whole like i don't even know how to explain it but if you're curious you can google it you may already fucking know but yeah to say to keep it short and sweet eagles they go through hell they go through fucking metamorphosis right we always talk about the butterfly and the butterfly represents change and transformation yeah it fucking does but an eagle they go through it too and it seems like that's kind of the vibe that you guys are going through and although it can be tough it seems like you're handling it quite well and um you know that this is gonna be all for the best you might be making some sort of change to wow yeah some of you are making a choice or you're thinking about moving you're maybe making some long-term plans um long-term plans like you know talking months if not years down the line planning ahead to travel or to move somewhere far away could even be globally on the other side i'm just saying like seriously especially because the zebra talks about travel it really reminds me of sagittarius it really reminds me of that ninth house energy which is all about seeking higher knowledge higher wisdom meeting people from abroad uh different land different backgrounds really just wanting to explore and expand so i really feel like that's in your future like long-term future i never really talk about long-term future in these readings normally i'll try to keep them like within the month ahead or so but i really feel like some of you have been planning or you're thinking about planning to move or to travel like somewhere down the line like in the future whether it's a few months from now or maybe you're planning like a year or a couple years ahead so that's really interesting maybe you're saving up to travel maybe you're saving up money so that you can um do that go on some sort of trip or even for those that are in um like you're in college university you might be thinking about studying abroad or like yeah that's for someone out there really specific message not gonna apply for everybody but you you're busting your ass off you're really really working hard to have that happen in your life like you are cementing it it is gonna happen it's not is it gonna happen what if it doesn't it is point blank it is gonna happen so you gotta work bitch if you want it to happen <laughs> okay so um yeah virgo season you're very organized you're very serious that wolf energy you're very structured um you're not really playful you're not really playing no games you're not wasting time but you're very serious where it's kind of like you may need to loosen up especially it's your birthday season you know fuck pour yourself a drink smoke a little J. like sit back relax because <laughs> the energy of the wolf is someone who's very like very stern serious uptight like i'm feeling like leader of the pack energy or even a bit of like a low Lone, lone wolf type of vibe either or it's like either you are you're taking on like higher responsibility like some of you if you're in regards to work related you could be taking on a higher position maybe you've been doing really well with what it is that you're doing and you're being offered a higher position so it requires you to have um more structure more 
focus, more seriousness, um, that you can't make mistakes. Like it feels pretty serious. It feels like it's a big deal. It might be, um, it might be a little uncomfortable or like I said, there, there might be some more pressure responsibilities that is put on you, but it's nothing you can't handle Virgo. Um, I just called you Virgil, Virgil, <laughs> nothing you can't handle. I'm sure you'll be just fine. You'll get right into the swing of things, but yeah, definitely massive changes coming around and you got to get ready for it, but it's going to be good. It just might be a little uncomfortable at first, but you can handle it and it's going to be for the best. And what's around the corner is some really awesome shit where you're going to be feeling free. You're going to be living your best life. Like it's all going to pay off all of this energy, all this hard work. It's going to pay off. And you know that like you already know that um so let's see what's going on for you let's get the specifics let's get some more info what's happening for virgo in september for virgo sun moon rising venus what's happening for my virgos in the month of september 2022 show me clearly what my virgos need to know for the month ahead eight of pentacles what did i say you're busting your ass off same energy as the beaver for me the beaver really represents that eight of pentacles like dedication showing up putting in the work working together also in teams beavers they work in teams they have a whole family you never just see one beaver building it down they have a whole team they have their whole group and so i really feel like the people that you surround yourself will will determine if you win or if you if you lose, if you float or if you sink, because the people that you surround yourself with have a huge, huge, huge influence on what kind of person you are and what you can achieve in your life. If you're surrounding yourself with people who don't have similar mindsets or similar interests or people who don't believe in you and your purpose and your dreams, then that's going to keep you stuck. That's not going to help you succeed. That's not going to help you in any way. It's going to really drag you down. Um, so definitely a message I'm picking up from this is like, be mindful of who you're surrounding yourself with and make sure that the people that are in your life actually support and uplift you and challenge you to be better challenge you to grow challenge you to succeed to be higher to be better right um so that's just a message i wanted to pass on because i'm really feeling that strongly i do feel like there's a lot of support around you and i love this card i really the frog in the corner is so cute <laughs> like it's just so cute um i do feel like there's lots of support around you and you're going to be getting a lot of signs, messages from your higher self, angels, ancestors, spirit team, um, whatever it is that you pray to. I do feel like you're going to be getting lots of like synchronicities, confirmations from them. But yeah, definitely, definitely picking up on that. Let's see what else is going on for Virgo. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Um, there could be something to do with a delay or setbacks or things maybe just things not going the way that you plan for now we are heading into mercury retrograde um on the 9th of september it goes direct on the 2nd of october but that will create some delays for sure especially if you are traveling or making plans to do anything crazy there could be some delays we do have the ace of pentacles coming though there might yeah like situations that maybe don't go according to plan we do have the devil out here or you could be holding yourself back or another thing i'm picking up on is that you might be reluctant to accepting help or assistance you might be like especially since you're showing up here as the wolf like independent you don't need help you're good on your own you don't need advice but um i would suggest that there's someone who has more knowledge more information more experience maybe someone who's more older than you has more wisdom to share definitely be open to their assistance definitely be open to their advice not necessarily that you have to take their advice but definitely be Keep your ears open to criticism. That might be something that you could struggle with. Some of you maybe struggle with criticism or struggle with accepting help or struggle with um, letting people help support you in ways. I am kind of picking up where you might be kind of closed off to that with the Wheel of Fortune reverse and the, the devil. Like there's an opportunity that's like coming in that could really help you grow or help you learn, but you might just be closed off to it um, or shut it down instantly, reject it because of whatever reasons like someone might be like hey virgo let me help you out with this and you're like no i'm good i can do it on my own i'm the wolf i'm a lone wolf right but it's like you know even if you're a leader of your pack let your pack let your people let your kind let your community help you and that's where you're gonna really learn and and just grow and like just be yes be say yes to opportunities be more open to opportunities okay 
Uh, we have the Knight of Wands, the Empress, Queen of Cups, and Judgment at the bottom of the deck. We even have the King of Cups. Two of Cups reversed. There's something something's being brought to your attention here regarding a connection. Could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have more Taurus energy out here and Capricorn. This is like throughout the entire reading. It's like water and earth, water and earth, and just like tiny little splash, little sprinkle of fire. So there's something to do with like a relationship here that you are in separation with. And we have judgment coming out indicating that you're reviewing something from your past or this can sometimes talk about like reconciliation energy, but we'll see if that really ties in because... We need more insight on that. But it does seem like there's something from the past coming up. It was being brought to your attention. And whatever is being brought to your attention is relating to some sort of connection that you were once involved in. Um, yeah, maybe your emotions towards someone are changing. Your feelings towards someone could be changing. Oh, wow. I'm also kind of picking up. Hold on. Some of you could be dealing with or take it however it applies, but some of you are dealing with a person who struggles with addiction of some sort. And they're not accepting your help or that's kind of that's another way I could read this. It's like because, you know, we, devil can definitely talk about addictions um definitely struggles of some sort and it feels like again like you could even be offering someone help or advice or some sort of assistance and they're rejecting it or it's just like they someone keeps falling back into the same pattern time and time again um and with the wolf you may lose patience with this person um that's another message from the, from the wolf is like, remember to be patient with others because what might make sense to you may not make sense to someone else. Like everyone's, everyone's brains are different. Everyone processes information differently. And with the wolf, you may get impatient with certain people um, when they don't understand or they, they, they don't do the things that you may want them to do like even if your intentions are good let's say that you're someone in your life who's really struggling with like let's just let's use the whole addiction thing maybe someone really struggles with addiction right maybe let's just use booze right someone is always drinking 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 and they always get themselves into trouble and you're always there to the rescue you're always there to try to pull them out of the fires that they created and oh, oh my phone is at 10 percent. so this is gonna be the last reading for today but you know you're always pulling them out of situations that they got themselves into and you have good intentions for them and you want them to change and you you see the potential of what they could be you literally see like this person could be the one or this person could change their life around and i could help them but at the end of the day it's the saying you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink so there could be someone in your life who doesn't want to change or like if they're wanting to change it has to come from within them you can't force them to change you can't force them to accept your help like none of that no matter what it is that you do like no matter how good your intentions are that is not up to you to decide it's not your life it's not your story and it's yeah it's sucky especially if this is like someone that you're like related to like family wise maybe if this is like a kid that you have um or like a sibling like you want the best for the people that you care about and it really sucks seeing someone just like go down the wrong path and even like talking about like the people that you surround yourself with i am kind of picking up like whoever this is that we're talking about here maybe this person is in the bad crowd and like ugh, yeah that's a specific storyline that we're picking up on really random but i really just we were really going down that storyline for a second so that's for someone out there it's like remember like it can't you can't change this person's life you can't stop them from making these decisions good or bad like if someone doesn't want your help if someone doesn't want to get better or improve themselves that's not up for you to decide and you're gonna have to accept that which is hard but it's out of your control virgo and that's something that you're gonna have to release is the control you can't control this person um no matter how badly you may wish to or want to you you can't control them so 
you kind of have to set yourself free from that and it could be in relation to a connection a romantic connection right um like you see you see the good in someone and you have a lot of love for them right with the queen of cups you have lots of love for this person but at the end of the day like it's not up for you to make choices for this person if this person wants to drive their life down to the shitter <laughs> then that's up to them and you can't change that so that's just like another random message um yeah okay anyways those were extra cards at the bottom lessons are being learned here with justice and um yeah so let's see is there anything else that we need to talk about i do want to we yeah so we got some time i will take a look into this wheel of fortune reverse so there might be certain things that don't go according to plan and it's because there's other opportunities that are going to come in to redirect you or to push you down the path that you're actually meant to be on so that can actually be tying into the energy of the eagle right divine orchestration i forgot to mention that, i believe the eagle does represent divine orchestration and um so if things aren't going the way that you had planned, the way that you imagined, know that that's divine timing doing its thing, doing its job. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. What's not working for Virgo? You may feel like you're going backwards or falling back into old ways. You're really resisting this, though. With the Wheel of Fortune reverse, you're resisting this. You're trying so hard to, like, turn the wheel forwards but you can't like the it's, it's kind of like why am i thinking of you know fishing when you're fishing and the fishing rod like you're trying to reel the fish in but you can't like there's such resistance um that's what i feel for this like there's such resistance to whatever this shift is or whatever this changes or whatever that's not working it seems like this is out of your control like you can't steer the ship left it's gonna turn right and you can't stop it from from turning that direction seems like yeah it's like there's something that's completely out of your control and you're trying so hard to control it look two of cups so this is about that relationship that we were talking about you're trying to turn things around page of swords coming out um the star ten of cups reverse and the queen of swords reverse so aquarius energy so there's this yeah there's a home situation or someone that you are in a relationship with or you have lots of love for maybe you have family with children with or they could even be a child right and um spirit is really saying like you can't control this person no matter what it is that you do or say um there's only so much you can do like this just feels that it's out of your control and you may get frustrated at times with the queen of swords reverse you might get frustrated you might lose your patience you might get really angry or upset um like someone's not listening to you or someone won't um take your advice and you're trying to do the right thing here your intentions are pure here with the star your intentions are pure and you're getting really frustrated with someone that they don't see what you see um like maybe let's say like maybe there's like a friend in your life and they're in a really bad relationship maybe they're in a really toxic ass relationship and they always come to you for advice right they always come for you to advice they they vent to you about their connection and like you're telling this person like yo like you need to leave you need to break up like this is not good for you i see what damage is causing for you and no matter what they keep going back to this person they keep giving them chance after chance after chance and it, it's pissing you off because you love this person you care about this person and yet they keep putting them themselves in this situation but again like as frustrating as annoying as that is it's not in your control virgo it's not in your control it's not and it sucks because you don't want to see you don't want to witness people that you care about in these situations you have lots of love for this person um but again like this is not it's not in your control and, and that there's not much you can do about that here and that's it's literally saying that here it's like you can speak your truth you can be honest with how you feel about this but again like this person's gonna make their own bed and they're gonna have to sleep in it so yeah that's how i'm reading this <sighs> okay tell me about the devil for virgo Tell me about the devil for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This did not want to shuffle. <laughs> Tell me about the devil for Virgo in September 2022. What's this devil about? Seven of Wands. Someone may get extremely defen- Oh, the devil coming out again. Devil confirmation. Someone gets extremely defensive. Like, let's just say, let's use that example of where you're like, your friend is in a toxic relationship, right? That kind of scenario. And so it's like, when you bring it up to them, like, 
they get extremely defensive like if you're if this is a person that's struggling with addiction or whatever right or there's something that they're doing that's like not good and you you talk you try to have a conversation with them you try to knock some sense to them right you try to help them out and help show them oh my god i'm so sorry i just got pocket dialed by my own mother <laughs> Uh, back to what I was saying. It's like whenever you like try to bring this up and have a conversation with this person about whatever this toxic shit is, they get extremely defensive. They get extremely defensive. They shut you down. They don't want to hear it. Um, and so that's that. Like that's kind of like the final verdict. It's like you can't really do much. You can't do anything. I feel like you have to leave it up to the divine. Um, tell me about the devil for virgo uh, three of wands reverse yeah you have to leave this you have to leave them behind seven of signs i think this person's aware they're aware that they're yeah give me a second four of swords reverse three of pentacles judgment someone's not accepting help like they are aware of it they just don't want your help they simply don't want your help you're offering them you know whether this is a job whether this is like i don't give a fuck what <laughs> sorry that phone call just threw me right off but it's like you try to offer them a solution and then they just create more problems and more problems and more problems and more problems and it, they, this person is very self-destructive um they self-sabotage i really pick up from this energy that they sabotage themselves um they push people away they might be trying to push you away distance themselves from you um and it's exhausting like i'm not it's, it's just <sighs> so what are you going to do about the situation that's where judgment comes in final verdict about the situation how are you going to handle this what are you going to do about this are you going to continue to try and keep convincing this person why they should change and why they should better themselves and why you see better of them and like um you know or are you just like what, how are you going to handle the situation now? Because there's only so much you can do. So tell me about judgment for Virgo regarding this situation in September 2022. Like, Virgo, you can't save everyone. Not everybody wants a hero. Not everybody wants to be saved or rescued, no matter, again, no matter how good your intentions are. Um, and, yeah, it's a, tough, it's a tough pill to swallow. Tell me about judgment for Virgo. So how is Virgo going to handle this situation? Five of Pentacles reversed. I think you're still going to support this person. Nine of Swords. Um, two of Swords. Talk about judgment for Virgo. Okay, we have a card that flew. Give me a second. Okay. Lovers reversed. Gemini energy. <clears throat> So yeah, you're overthinking this for sure. Let's see, is there anything important at the bottom? Not really. Okay. I think that you'll continue to still support this person and try to still like keep them close and keep the door open for them. But um there is something to do with the energy being unrequited or like you want to help them, but they don't want to help themselves, you know? And you are I think you're realizing that it's not worth putting in so much energy towards because it's just stressing you out. It's exhausting you. Um, you're stuck stressing and worrying about this person when they aren't even worrying about themselves. And I think you're making the choice... And what's interesting here, it's like, yeah, it's like you're struggling. What's interesting, we see in the Nine of Swords on the blanket, we have the head over heart kind of symbol. So there's hearts on the blanket, and then we have the justice symbol. And that's literally the energy of the Two of Swords, like head versus heart. Your heart's saying, like, stay by this person's side, help them, get them the help they need, don't leave their side. And the other part of you, the logical side, is like, fuck it, like, let it go it's not worth fighting for slash if they want to ruin up and mess up their lives and let them like there's such like this back and forth struggle internal struggle between your heart versus your head but ultimately what i'm seeing here no matter what you end up deciding about the situation um i do feel like you need to give less energy to this person 
even just giving a little bit less not saying that you have to abandon this person leave this person to, to the dogs right leave them out to rot like of course i'm not saying that but i do feel like there is like you're giving way way too much energy it's always think about it like a kid like when you tell a kid no when you tell it you're you know if you have children if you're a parent and you told your child no or if you know think back to in childhoods when your parents told you no you can't do this no you can't go out well then you want to rebel then you want to do the opposite of what you're being told to do and it's kind of like this person feels like you're telling them what to do and so now they want to do the opposite so that's kind of how it feels like i think you just need to back away from this a little bit um lessen the grip lessen control and because this is really outside of your control and i think what's best for you for your own sanity is to give less of your energy to this situation and just surrender like if this person i don't even know i don't want to take it to that extreme i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking basically like whatever this person ends up deciding to do with their selves and their lives it has nothing to do with you and it's not your fault right no matter what so yeah um different reading but uh that's what i got for you virgo so hang in there happy birthday <laughs> uh yeah so if this resonated or you enjoyed let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're new here i greatly appreciate it if you want to book a private reading with me I think I already said that, didn't I? The information's in the description box. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. Thank you so much for watching, Virgo, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.